Patrick Lang with Certainty Management. Thanks for sticking with me this week. If you have, if this is the first video you've heard, I'd encourage you to go back and listen to the first one, number 16, so you uh, can get the backstory as well. I've been telling the story of my family business as a child growing into my teenage years and the lessons that we learned from a business that grew very quickly and got very large and um, the, the mistakes we made as well as the good things we did. We learned how to look at trends, how to pick partners, how to keep our eyes open. We learned the value of slowing down and stepping back and asking ourselves hard questions. Is this working? If not, how can we change it? Even when you're successful, these are important questions. It's not always uh, that you're trying to figure out how to survive because you're starving or you're struggling. Sometimes growth is the biggest challenge. And it certainly was in our case. As I look back on those times, there were good and bad times. Uh, for, for a long time, I was upset. I was angry at my parents for, for letting the business grow take advantage of us and control us the way we did. Now they did the best they can. I know that we've talked about it many times and we all learned lessons from it. But as a child, it was hard for me. I'd go to soccer games and they weren't there to watch me play. In fact, I'm wearing my Italy shirt today in honor of the world cup. I lived in Italy for a couple of years, got to see the world cup there back in 88, 89, uh, 90, right, right around there. I'm a big soccer fan. I played soccer for a long time. And it was hard as a young child playing and having your parents never there to cheer you on. They wanted to be there, but the company demanded so much that it was difficult. As I look back on those memories, I've tried to learn from them. I've tried to um, be more balanced in my own life. But most importantly, I've tried to remember what my priorities are. Don't take me wrong. My parents are fantastic. They're my biggest idols. They're my mentors and my biggest fans. And they were learning as they went. All of us do so. As we go through business, we stumble over ourselves. We pick ourselves up. We keep trying. We keep trying to improve. We keep getting better. And they most certainly did that. And I have done so as well. I continue to figure things out and get better at delegating and, and things like that. But what I learned was the value of priorities, and remembering what's most important. They say, no one will ever wish they'd spent more time at the office, you know, and you hear stories of uh, sayings like, you, you've never seen a, a hearse pulling a, a moving truck or a moving uh, a trailer behind it, you know. Uh, these are just references to priorities, to prioritization. Um, in my business and in my own efforts and in yours as well, I think this reminder to step back and take time and ask hard questions is a good one. Our priorities are different for everyone. For some people, it's just they want to make as much money as they can, as fast as they can. They don't care about anything else. Hopefully that's not you because those are not always the longest lasting rewards. Hopefully you're not uh, neglecting your relationships. Hopefully you're keeping balance in your life, maintaining your health building and giving back and paying it forward. Hopefully you're doing these things as well, because if you're not doing them, I believe at the end of your journey, you're going to look back with regrets. I hope I don't. To my parents' credit, they, my dad came home from the hospital. They sold their half of the business. They paid off his medical debt. They went back to work for the, for the church, for the college. My mom was an honors English professor for many years I wrote a paper about this in college once called From Rags to Riches and Back Again. And I talked about the lessons we learned. They were valuable. I hope you learn the same sort of lessons and hopefully in an easier way. You can do it. Good luck out there. Come back and see us next week. We'll continue the conversation. Take care. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.